Hello and welcome to another episode of Take a Peek. Here we are taking a peek of a new game called Mini Metro. It uh, is actually it's in alpha. You can see version alpha 7 right now. It's the last time it was updated. It's currently in development by the Dino Polo Club. Dino Polo Club. And this is just a pre-release. It has no music. It has no sound. Uh, but I wanted to take a peek at this game because it's very interesting and very different. So, the basis of this game, it is, again, it's called Mini Metro. The link will be down below. Check it out. Uh, they're also trying to get it greenlit on Steam. Personally, I voted for it. I think it's pretty cool. So you see this little... Actually, you can't see that. Whoop. Uh, it's... Get rid of that. Uh, you see this little... Uh, date up here. It's Tuesday. So that'll go... Uh, you can see it's in browser right now using the Unity engine, but it won't be a browser game when it's finally done, obviously. Uh, every time you go through a week, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, but this is the number of people that have been carried so far, and they have to go through all these different stops. So you can see they have triangles, squares, and circles right now. Uh, it gets more complicated the further on you go. And uh, obviously you got to take the triangles, the triangles. This guy just picked up some circles. Yellow picked up circles, picked up some more circles, taking the circles over to this triangle. And now you can see that a whole bunch of circles have been dropped off here. Triangle was dropped off, a whole bunch of circles now picked up carried over to the circle there you go the cycles complete and you get these different lines with these different lines uh, you're supposed to connect all these little hubs together and just they just got to keep going the, the end goal is to get as many of these people in as you possibly can uh, I'm gonna actually if I can do that there you go now you can actually see the full number that is part of the number, but every time you click away, it'll pause the game. That's the easiest way to pause. Just click out of the window like that. It's paused, and click back in, and there you go. It resumes. If there's too many people waiting at one station, you've seen this happen here a couple times. It's been shaking. Too many people waiting, uh, eventually you'll lose the game. So we're about to hit the end of Sunday. So every time you go through a week in the game... Sunday to Sunday, you get an upgrade. So in this case, uh, it, it's usually randomly selected. I can either choose to have another line. Right now I'm only allowed three and I'm using all three. Or I could upgrade a train of my choosing. So it, it goes from one car to two cars and it goes a little bit faster. Which is very helpful, but I'm going to stick with an extra line because it's going to get much more complicated. Uh, the game doesn't speed up. But it feels like it speeds up because everything gets so much more chaotic. It's actually pretty crazy. So my record in this is 403 carried. That's actually quite a lot. It's hard to do. Um, getting 100 is not too difficult. It's after 200 that things get a little chaotic. Oh, goodness. How am I going to do you? That's not a good place. Uh, let's rewire red entirely. I can do that for now. There's the fourth line. Red's going, he's going, and okay, let's pull you down. Okay, now we got red. Do red like this, and then this, I don't know, teal color type thing. Uh, so you notice when you, this is a river. You notice when uh, they go over the river, they slow down a little bit. It's also when they're inside tunnels. Uh, tun you have a limited number of tunnels. If you just go to the left here, you can see what you have. Uh, no more lines. The tunnels, oddly enough, are not showing up. Uh, a little bit of a glitch there. It's the first time I've never seen the tunnel show up. So, uh, The game actually is not very glitchy. It's, it's designed really well, and it's, it's done very well. So, you can see this is shaking, there's too many people waiting. If that circle goes completely empty, you lose. 
So just over 100, no problem. Uh, we're going into the next week. Saturday will be done, and then we'll go into Sunday, and we'll have an, another option. It'll probably be tunnels or a train upgrade. Uh, if I get another option for a line, that would be amazing. That's how I got over 400, uh, is by having five lines running at once. Because then all your burden is just, it's made so much easier. Oh, don't be like that game. I don't have any more tunnels. Oh, I do. I did have a tunnel. Like I said, it is. Oh, station upgrade. That's different. I've never seen that before. Increase a station's capacity. Interesting. So this was done. Oh, this is the upgrade. Oh, geez. This is a, a brand new. Um, this one this is the new version today. That's my bad. I was misreading that. Duh. I should have been reading that properly. It's 2014. Yeah, this is the new version today it was made. So station upgrade. This is new. Increase the station capacity. All right. Well, let's increase this station's capacity. It's a bigger station. Has a lot of people going through it. So now I have to wonder if the tunnel thing is gone, if we're no longer limited on the amount of tunnels we can have. If, if so, that completely changes the gameplay. So now this one's getting overburdened. But that's fine. We'll just haul them over to this one. It'll only pick up what it can. Uh, only the reasonable ones. It didn't pick up the squares. It didn't have enough space to pick up the squares because it's carrying a lot of circles that it needs to take over. Oh, bad place for that to be. Oh, but I don't want to take away... I, I guess I'm allowed to take away the yellow a little bit further now because this one's going to be holding squares and it can hold more. Um, so now you can see we have this cross. We have this windshield wiper sign thing. Lines cannot cross at all. Oh, I desperately need a line. This is getting too big too fast. Oh my goodness, blue is just hauling over a whole bunch. I almost want to call that purple, but it's not. I don't know what colors these are. They're just... Why can't one of them be, like, green? So you can say, like, blue and red and green and yellow instead of, like, light blue and dark blue. Like, they're both blue, but they're not blue, and it's weird. Anyways, that's like my only complaint about this game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I would classify it more as like a puzzle game, but I could definitely be see it being strategy or even go as far as, say, simulation. Not a fan of this. Bup, ba -da, ba -da. Try it that way. Oh my goodness, this line is getting too long. It's one, two, three, four, five stations long. One, two, three, four, five for yellow. One, two, three, four for red and four for blue. But blue seems to be like it's always at max capacity. So I think blue is really should not go any further. I'm reluctant to keep this one as long as it is. Ah, game! Game, you're being mean! Uh, this game is surprisingly addictive. Honestly, oh, thank goodness, line. Okay, okay. I can't... Shouldn't have been able to do that. I don't know why I was able to do that. You're not supposed to be able to cross lines. Okay, we're going to be doing that. Uh, actually, we're going to do it... Like that. See if I can take some stress off of this one. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's gonna go! Okay, game over. You see a star pop down here at the very end. 2.99. Uh, not a great run. But I think tunnels are now unlimited. I'll do one more so you guys can see a slightly different approach to the game. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the best strategy is. Uh, but this is... Like I said, it's su a surprisingly addictive game. And... Uh, I, like, I would consider it a puzzle game. I mean, it really is. You have to figure out how everything works together, and you can pause the game and really think about it. Um, my biggest gripe is there's no sound. But that's not a big deal. You can always play your own music in the background, make your own sound effects, you know. If you're a train enthusiast, you can make your own train sounds. You know, go a little Sheldon Cooper on them. I don't know. Okay, wow, that's quite a ways away. 
So you want to avoid tunnels as much as possible. That much is obvious. Uh, but, yeah, seriously, the only gripe I have about this game is that there's no sounds. It's designed well. It's hard to find bugs. They're there. They're definitely there. I've made them happen. But it's not... Like, it's not so easy to find the bugs, really. You, you kind of have to be panicking. At least I have had to panic in order to find the bugs. Okay, I guess I'll do that. That works. That's kind of a weird-looking line. Uh, well, I really like this. looks very similar to a metro map. I really like that. That if you actually go look at a subway map, and you see all the lines going off in all the different directions. They're all a bunch of different colors. You, know, you got to switch from red line to blue line. And from blue line, you got to wait for an hour. And then green line shows up that, that'll go in the right direction. I really like that. This is very reminiscent of what a metro map looks like to me. Especially when it gets bigger and bigger. Um, something that you guys may or may not have noticed by now. May or may not have. The game is zooming out very slowly. The game is zooming out. And if you look at the very edge here, you can see that movement. Uh, but uh, as you're playing the game, you're like so focused on connecting all the different stations together, you don't even think about it. Like It, does, it doesn't even register to you that the map is zooming out. It's done so well, so very well. Uh, it's... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm speaking very highly about this game, and it, it's like an alpha version of a game that's like barely anything. I'm drawing lines to connect different shapes together. Uh, but it's fun. It is genuinely fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing an episode on it. There's not much more to say about this game other than it is very difficult. <laughs> I have a hard time finding a game that's more difficult than this one. Again, the link for this game will be down below and uh, I recommend checking it out. It, the games are short but that's a good thing. And this is a game you can play like at work or something uh, when work is being particularly slow, you can just sit there and play the game at work because you can always click out of the screen and it'll work out just fine. The game will pause, you're not worried about it, and you can you can be in the middle of a, a great game of Mini Metro, but you have a meeting that you have to go to in like five minutes, right? Well, just click out of it and go to your meeting, come back in an hour or two and it'll still be there. It's kind of like saving the game. I mean, it's not, but... Uh, you know, this game is... It's user-friendly. That's a very good way to put it. It's, it's user-friendly. Oh, man, that red train is just packed full. Dropping off those squares. See, windshield wiper moved from this circle to this triangle is now going to get to the windshield wiper. Um... Oh, line and line. Let's let's do it like that. The only time the lines can cross is when they're going to different stations, and that's like the only way they can move. So we should have another line. Do we? No more lines available. Never mind. It's one, two, three. Oh, we have uh, all five. One, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. So we're maxed out on lines. All we can do from here is train upgrades and station upgrades because it looks like that uh, there's no limit on tunnels. But instead, tunnels slow you down because they didn't used to. That's fine. Uh, that That's perfectly fine. It does make you think a completely different strategy for tunnels because they did not use to slow you down in the previous version of this game. So you have to really think about how are you going to use these tunnels? You know, how is this going to play in? Oh, I don't like that square. Let's do that. I'll put the square there. Oh my goodness, the squares though. 
Red's picking up squares, and then Green's going to pick up the rest of the squares, and then three more squares are going to be dropped off by Yellow. No, they're being carried back to Triangle, uh, so they can be picked up by Blue to go over to this square. That actually works out very well in my favor, because it'll pick up a bunch of squares over here, and that'll be a nice haul. Uh, why not Yellow? Need a connection? Why not Yellow? Those of you that get that reference, what I'm actually implying with that reference, good for you. Those of you that don't, you have not spent enough time on the, the internet. I'm sorry. Or this is a distant future and that reference doesn't exist anymore, which is probably a greater possibility. Okay, blue definitely should not be extended any further. That's really pushing the limits. That's nice and full. I like that. Okay, so now two trains are there at once, and they're going to switch passengers. People are going to flip between them. Really? You have to? Gosh dang it. Okay. Uh, well, this is a tough one. Station upgrade seems very helpful. But I also need a train upgrade. I need, like, all of my trains to be upgraded. But a station upgrade would be nice. Let's go with train upgrade. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Okay, okay. Let's train upgrade green. Because green's going to get bigger here soon. I'm going to do that. Make the plus the last stop. The reason why I'm not extending red any further is because th we keep getting these squares. A very heavy square usage right in here that needs to keep getting hauled. Oh, really? You're going to be like that game? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Progress. This one almost broke. This one's in trouble. Okay, green's going to get there, and green's going to clear it out. Watch green fill up. Oh, yeah, green just sucked them all up. That's very nice. And then the plus was delivered to this box to be carried as, along with a circle. Uh, drop off a circle, pick up a triangle, and then it'll end up at the plus. Uh, fine, I'll extend red. Extending anyone else would just be foolish at that point. I almost want to like rework all of my connections, but... I can't. Like, I, I, I want to, but I can't at the same time because I can't legitimately pause. But this is working. We're, we're making progress here. This is, it's doing well enough. I don't know how far, how much longer this game's going to go, but we're doing well. I, this green train seems to be the right choice for the upgrade. Okay, they got a star over there. It looks a little weird. Probably should fix the graphic for the star. Drop off some circles, but that you're you're gonna leave them there. Oh, and this one's gonna get even more heavily loaded. Oh no! Yellow, do something! Yellow. Okay, yellow can take some of the burden, but not a lot. Oh, really? Really? Oh, this is gonna collapse here very soon. Oh crap! Okay, train upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Crap, I don't know who to upgrade. I don't know who to upgrade. Ah, uh, they all need upgrades. Ah. Uh, <laughs> grab anything you can. We're going to lose. This is over. Yeah, and... Oh, Red didn't get there in time. 513. So that's a new record for you guys to beat. Uh, I feel like the game maybe got a little bit easier when you don't have limited tunnels. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting better. But this is, uh, it's, again, it's called Mini Metro. Link in the description. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's very addictive. At sometimes it can be very stressful. Uh, it's great for the casual gamer, and uh, it's great for the Let's Player, obviously. Uh, anyone that wants to play, it's free to play. All you have to do is download the Unity engine, which is what it runs on. Uh, if it actually gets on Steam, obviously you wouldn't have to download the Unity engine for the browser. But as of right now, it's just Unity in the browser. 
So there you go, guys. You can just vote it up on Steam uh, or just keep playing. So this has been Take a Peek of Mini Metro. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you like the game, talk about it in the comments. I want to hear your guys' high scores and see if you guys can be are able to beat 513. I look forward to it. See you guys then.